Hello YouTube, this is N3SDO. Allow me to introduce the Sound Card Oscilloscope by Christian Zietnitz. This is an audio frequency dual trace oscilloscope that runs under Windows with triggering an audio spectrum analysis capability. Additionally, it has dual audio frequency function generators capable of creating multiple waveforms and multiple frequencies and also to generate presetable frequency sweeps at different amplitudes in different directions simultaneously. I've tried a number of different sound card programs over the years, and I like this one the best. It has a very good user interface with the graphical controls. You can change the triggering on it, and it also has graphical control for the triggering. One of the things that I have implemented in using it is to use a low-cost external USB audio fob. Makes things a little more safe for me. If you overload and fry this USB audio fob, you unplug it, you throw it away, you spend 10 bucks, you go get another. The Sound Card Scope program is a licensed program. I paid $10 for my single user license. Probably one of the best 10 bucks I've ever spent. The dual signal generator feature is great, and for ham radio operators, it easily does subaudible tones, aka PL tones or CTCSS tones. For example, I've got it currently set up to generate a 131.8 and 1000 Hz tone. This works nicely to open the PL detector on a nearby HD that I'm testing. You can also generate attention tones, DTMF digits, or two different frequencies for dual tone SSB tests, or PL tones of various frequencies and different amplitudes. You can do 700 and 1900 Hertz tones together, or you could even emulate the dial tone of your telephone using 350 and 440 hertz tones. In previous years, I used an iPod to play back pre-recorded test messages or test tones into a test transmitter. But even better, since you need a PC to control the D6 spectrum analyzer, I found that since I can now generate FM signals with the D6's VFO, why not generate my audio tones with the software and be able to observe the waveforms with software on the same PC? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Now this is not a lab grade instrument. You're not going to have flat frequency response from DC to 10 megahertz. But for ham radio and audio tinkering, this is gonna be pretty difficult to beat. Did I mention it's 10 bucks? Spend the money you'll like it. Now I will switch from the oscilloscope display to the settings tab and then go to the input selection. Confirm that I'm currently set for microphone to USB audio device. You've got a number of different options that you can switch between. That's how I was recording the voice onto the oscilloscope display earlier. I'm currently using the USB fob as the modulation source for D6 connected to a Hamtronics receiver that's being repaired. I'm tapping the discriminator audio, which should be a fairly wide range frequency response. But I'm also noticing there's a good bit of frequency roll off. I'm having to drive the uh, lower frequency considerably harder than I am the higher frequency. I believe this is caused by the FM modulation method that I'm using with the D6. As the PLL tries to cancel out the modulation at the lower frequencies. This can be compensated for by increasing the volume level of the lower frequency signals. And what I am also planning here is to do a RF test by changing 
the attenuation level to generate a weaker and weaker signal. I'm going to start at minus 40 dB and then gradually increase as uh, time goes on to minus 120, minus 130 and see how the receiver signal to noise ratio degrades.